In today's video, I'm going to show you how to emphasize the logo with a lot of glow. We're going to be using some plugins, so be prepared. And without further ado, let's get straight into Adobe After Effects. All right, so we're back in the software. Let me just show you the comp settings. So we got 1080 by 1920. I'm going to hit OK. And I prepared three assets. So basically, we got logos. I just masked out YouTube so it matches the other logos. Anyway, the thing we need to do is create a new camera. I'm going to change the preset to 35 millimeters. And then we're going to create a new null object. Let's rename to cam control. I'm going to parent the camera to the null, drop it underneath. And then we need to turn on the 3D layer on everything. I'm just gonna change the color. And what I want to do is hit P for the cam control. I'm gonna go back and I want to bring Instagram and YouTube closer to the camera. So it's gonna be like that. Then we're gonna hold shift click R for the cam control. I'm gonna keyframe zero rotation and position. Have the position keyframe in the very beginning. We're gonna drag this one somewhere here. And then I kind of wanna start the frame with a little bit of rotation. Then we're gonna get here and we're gonna get closer to our AE logo. Now what we need to do is use intro graph, that's the one. It's extremely fast, we can actually slow it down just a bit. And the thing I want to do is actually use opacity keyframes for AE logo, and we're just gonna nicely fade it in. We could probably start not from zero, but from like 25, and maybe let's drag it all the way to the beginning. And now the thing I want to do here is add deep glow to the logo. And then we're also gonna create a new shape. Pick the ellipse tool and we're just gonna create a little circle in the middle. I'm gonna recenter and I'm gonna actually go to picker and I'm gonna take the color from the logo. I'm gonna drop it underneath and we're gonna add something from Red Giant, which is optical glow. And now we need to bump up the amount and also the size, just like that. So it already starts to look pretty cool. Also, we're gonna fade it in. So I'm gonna use opacity keyframes and I kind of wanna have it later on. Okay, pretty cool. Let's just use easy ease. And now what we need to do is add drop shadow to the logo. Here we're gonna drag drop shadow above deep glow because we don't really want that effect to be affected. Next thing we need to do is bump up the opacity, change distance to zero and bump up the softness. So we're gonna achieve a little bit of separation. I probably went overboard with this. We can duplicate and right now it's perfectly fine. We could actually decrease softness to zero and just play around with the distance a little bit. Maybe it'll be better. Yeah, it's actually pretty cool. And as I'm looking at this, I feel like opacity keyframes don't really work here good. We're gonna change the amount, actually change it to the amount. So we're gonna hit you and I'm gonna change it all the way to zero. Okay, that's way better. We're also gonna easy ease the keyframes and let's see now. And also we want to actually start that keyframe from the opacity keyframe of AE logo. And we can trim it and make it a bit sharper. Then regular procedure, I'm gonna go to transform, alt key point of interest, type in wiggle, and one comma 10 should be fine. We could go for something even higher, like 500, 600. And I would probably just select these two and drag that peak towards the left. Then we're gonna turn on the motion blur. Here we got the final effect, that'll be it for today. And I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers guys.